to this week's edition of the Israeli Show. In the week's top story, Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu said, quote, leaders in Europe treat the Palestinians like a spoiled child. Leaders in Europe ignored Netanyahu's call and threw the Palestinians a super sweet 16 party. <laughs> Bank of Israel Chief Stanley Fisher was disqualified from heading the International Monetary Fund due to his old age. Apparently the IMF chief needs to be young and full of libido. Ho <laughs> ho ho! The IDF has decided to prosecute a soldier caught on video dancing with a handcuffed Palestinian. Take a look. Okay, there's the soldier dancing with the handcuffed Palestinian woman. I apologize for the quality. Apparently they don't get out HDTV cameras in the IDF. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. It seems to me like everyone's just having a good time here. <laughs> but on a serious note, as an IDF veteran, when I watch videos like these, it makes me feel absolutely ashamed of how bad our soldiers are at dancing. I mean, he had no rhythm, the guy had two left feet, I couldn't even tell who was leading. <laughs> Shakira was in Israel this week and visited the Kotel where her hips apologized for lying. <laughs> Why you embarrass me? I told everyone my hips don't lie. An Israeli firm has come up with a way to display 3D content that does not require the viewer to wear 3D glasses. It's called real life. <laughs> Matis Yao performed in Israel this week. The Hasidic reggae star released a statement to the press saying, quote, yo 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 And finally, in a segment we like to call Israeli typos, this week's winner is Gershon Paul, who sent in a picture of a t-shirt at a clothing shop in Jerusalem. Notice what it says on the top right. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with the top gay either. Especially if my outfit was out of style. Thank you very much for watching this week's Israeli show. I'm your host, David Sidman. Shalom.